What's up soul fam? Welcome back to the Journey YouTube channel. Welcome back, welcome back. This rising I will talk about soul purpose. So this is soul purpose part two I think. Yeah man, I think we do one part one tweet already. What is your soul purpose? Now in life we tend to feel like say we are not significant. So we feel insignificant in the universe as human beings sometimes. Not this time. Cause before we knew exactly who we were, you know, and we knew exactly what we came here to do as a people. We didn't have perfect alignment, we didn't know purpose as a people. I just know this time you now people get brainwashed and think say them insignificant as human beings. Nothing on the earth is insignificant. If it was insignificant, it wouldn't be here. No, you are of the earth. So you are significant. If the earth never needed you, should have killed a long time. This is a live planet with the planet. It's a live being. Same like your body live. And if there's a cell on the body where no function, right? Your body kick it out. Your body now keep no and no dead full full weak cell no your body that's your skin and your body change over cells so regular it keep the strongest things them to help it stay alive now the same thing with the earth if you if you do if you never significant upon the earth it will kick you out long time it mean you have a purpose every man you rise up it mean you have some purpose to carry out upon this planet you get me i say some per you have a purpose find out what that purpose is please find out what it is Cause that's why so much people depressed in the world and feel like they have to work to survive and they feel like they have to be a slave that is their purpose to be a slave because when you feel like you have to get up and go 9 to 5 job to survive for just buy food and house because that's all you get when you work 9 to 5 you know, food, uh, uh, um, food and housing you know and if you take it back to slavery days the same thing they used to get the slave them on the plantation food and housing you work so that you can get food and housing that's it and that's why most people right now work to buy food and for house themselves and then pitney. So you're a slave. You're a human being in a fire. You don't need for work for your next man and kill up yourself every day just to buy food, you know. The earth bear fruits for you eat, you know. Human beings not supposed to eat processed carbs and them type of thing there. That's why the fruits them don't have a concentration of carbs. There's no fruit we eat in nature. We have a concentration of carbohydrates. No. And then they trick we and tell us that human beings need carbohydrates to stay healthy and our main source of energy. Fuck it. Wrong. The main, the main source of energy for human beings is sunlight. Prana. Prana is the main source of energy for every single being on this planet. And the primary source of energy. energy. And even when you eat other things, make the most of it turn off the sun or make the sun rise for, what, for all maybe five months and see what I'm doing. That's why people in like Alaska are depressed and, uh, and commit suicide all the while. The sunlight is more important than any other food or any other thing we you think you need. The sunlight has a lot to do with your brain or you think. It has a lot to do with depression and anxiety. So you find that people who don't expose themselves to sunlight are always depressed and anxious. And them things there. You get what I say? Check it man, in Alaska where there is a uh, few months of no sunlight and some something. Fine, check it and see if people, the, the suicide rate is high over them place there. And anywhere where it's too dark and not much sunlight, a lot of suicide going with human beings. So human beings need sunlight. And if you check it, a lot of animals don't really get raised at them places either. You know? It means it's not good for sustain life, not at all. A lot of plant life not there either. So you find that the place is more abundant with plant life and them things there, which is the tropics, closer to the equator. And them places are the most energy, the most life force there. And what do they some more? Now the sunlight. So the sunlight is the major source of energy for everything on the earth, man. You know what I Now, what is the soul purpose? Everyone has a soul purpose. Every single one of we come here for a soul purpose. And there's something for us here while we know our soul purpose. You just have to wait. And the human don't like to wait because society program us say, you know, we feel rich from we young. And you see, your, your favorite artist rich from you young and so, so man. You feel like, yes, that is supposed to happen for you, no. You know, human, the human being not even, not even supposed to be dead so quick. So we have a lot of time on the earth if you really and truly live healthy. So where do you rush for? Where do you rush for fire? Where do you rush for go? You know, one time we used to live for 900 odd years, 1000 odd years, 2000 years, 3000 years as human beings. These things are written. You know, these things are written in the Bible, in the um, hieroglyphics, in the... Emerald tablets, these things are written. We used to live long. We used to, we, the, the human body is made to be immortal. We know, we, 
Yeah, we're not supposed to do that name thing there, you know? Um, anyways, what is your soul purpose? Your soul purpose is anything that you are naturally drawn to. Anything where when you sit down and meditate, you find yourself just drawn to, that is your soul purpose. Your soul purpose is just anything that you have a natural interest in ever since you were young. So if you really want to find your soul purpose, track back. Track back to when you were young. Even if you can't remember, ask your parents, Mommy, Daddy, um, what was I drawn to when I was young? What used to say me do all the while? That is how you know your soul purpose. From me young, me I try to teach people things. That's, I just so much ask anybody about me. From me young, me, we, me can reason with adults all the while. Because me, me, me I think like them. You get to me, I say from me young, me I ask a lot of questions because I like to learn. I am a natural learner. And I am a natural teacher. You get to me, I say? So from me young, me I try to learn and teach. If I ask anybody about me, I ask be a question on me little. From me know myself, I so much stay. And I try to teach people things that I learn too. I so much stay from me young. You know, so that's why adults are always drawn to me from young and elder people. Because that's just, this is just who me is. It's a person, that's my purpose. I like to talk to people and I like to help people. You know, I like to teach people things that I learn so that they can help themselves and them things there. That is who I am, you know, that's my purpose. You know, another purpose of mine is farming. I farm from little too. You know, so check where you are for your young. Anybody can tell them, I always farm, I always farm something. From ever since I know myself from my eight, seven. I've been farming I've, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of interest in farming. I like farming, you know. And then now I realize that the best thing for ever know, you know, to farm your own food. How the frig I go hungry if you don't farm your own food for you? Oh, Because the same, if you, even if you go work and make money, you still have to go buy the food. The yam, the banana, the pumpkin, the apples, the grape, you still have to go buy it. So you need food to survive, why not know if you plant it? You save more money so too, because you have to go spend your pay for food. So now you save your pay if you do other things, invest and do some other things, you know. It's the most abundant way to live. I have my own food. I don't need to go to the shop or buy enough food for anybody. No, I have my own food. Every human being can produce their own food. I don't know why some of them scan the dirt and go like I could not want to plant nothing. Anyways, yeah, so that's your sole purpose, man. Anything you're naturally drawn to from your young, that is your sole purpose. So just get on to it. People will laugh off of you too when you try to do your purpose, but I saw today's tea, I saw this day and age tea. People are going to laugh after what they don't understand. And what everybody understands is going to work and make money. That is what they understand. And if you're not doing that, everybody going to laugh after you. And I don't care. I've been mocked and all of that all of the while, you know. But I'm in a business. I have to do what I come to do. <laughs> I just human beings, they don't know nothing, you know. So, I have to try to teach them something. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for them some of the time when they mock and jeer and say, I'm mad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for you sometimes, man. I tell you. But for the ones who are making jeer, I'm not sure how to watch the video too. Because I like to watch me. I don't know how to say my mother and like to watch me so. Eh? How do you like to watch a madman so, man? So, anyway, that is a sole purpose, man. One love.